and invited and, and have the privilege of being able to celebrate the first time something happens in Michigan. And I have to say that I am so proud as a Michigander and as a person to see this community in Grand Haven come together on so many levels to mark the first ever Pride Festival in Grand Haven. And so on behalf of the entire state of Michigan, on behalf of my partner in public service, on behalf of every person who identifies as a member of the LGBTQ plus community or identifies as an ally and supporter of the LGBTQ plus community, I wanna thank you for your presence and leadership that you're showing by both organizing and participating in this festival today. This is about so much more than today. It's about so much more than today. I wanna thank the public servants on the Grand Haven City Council who made the choice that was both courageous and correct to recognize this opportunity. Thank you. It was important to me to be here to support them. Because yeah, like I can read, like I read about some of the responses that came in. But what it made me think about is the fact that dignity is not debatable. The fact that our collective humanity is not up for grabs. And the beautiful thing that is perhaps ironic to those who questioned the necessity of a pride festival is that I've been able to go to a lot of pride festivals. And last time I checked, everybody at pride was happy. We're happy to celebrate one another, to support one another, to let everyone feel the experience of safety, of connection, and of belonging. And ultimately, that is what we want in any type of community exercise. So dare I say, there is no stronger community event to bring people together than a pride festival. So I hope that everyone participating today can enjoy themselves and enjoy the weather, enjoy this beautiful scenery that God blessed us with. But also, I hope that new relationships are forged. I want to thank the committee, the steering committee, that three months and four days ago met. We can change the world in three days and four months. And I hope that coming out of today, all of you feel more welcome, all of you feel more emboldened and empowered, that all of your expectations are raised about what's possible in Grand Haven and in Michigan, because certainly Governor Whitmer and I's expectations have been raised this year. We saw what we can do with allies in leadership in state government. We saw what that meant specifically for the LGBTQ plus community when we were able to codify civil rights protections in our state civil rights law. A quest that's been happening for 40 years and was brought to fruition. It was a little more than three months and four days ago, but we were able to do that this year too. And we're not finished yet. We are walking the path to make sure that the draconian practice of so-called conversion therapy will be banned in the state of Michigan. And we will do everything in our power to make sure every person in America knows that regardless of how you get legislated out of one state, you are legislated into the present and the future of the state of Michigan. So let's continue to build that together. Thank you, God bless you, and happy Pride.